I think the focus should have been on, on jobs that, and skills uh, for young people. I think what we could have seen is some focus on, you know, reskilling um, people in the workforce towards things like, uh, you know, uh, green jobs. Um, if we want to help the environment after we've come out of COVID, we could be investing in skills towards gre greener jobs, not only just to help the environment, but to help um, the skills for the future. Well, when you say about skills, the government have actually said that they're going to invest an increase of 42% when it comes to skills and training. So they would argue that they have thought about that and that they have covered that. But I think the devil is in the detail and what does that exactly mean and where are those? Where is that going to be concentrated? Is it going to be just in London or is it going to be outside London uh, and for the rest of the country in places that have been severely impacted uh, by COVID-19? What do you think? Because I think it's very easy to criticise a government. Um, and, of course, the devil is in the detail. Um, but I think that a lot of people would be... Um you know, pleased with some of the measures that have been announced today. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's how you pay for it, because, I mean, we all recognise, I think, most of us recognise that taxes do need to increase somewhere to pay for the huge coronavirus debt, to, to, to clear the backlog of operations in the NHS, to clear the backlog in the justice system. Thing is, where, where do we raise the money from? And there's now the highest um, tax kind of burden on working people since 1949 and, and because whilst talking, he's rising up the national gonna, insurance. Whilst you're talking, this is very interesting, I've actually got a graphic um, that I'm just going to put on the screen because I do think this is a very interesting conversation about how things are paid for. So uh, I just, this is uh, the current receipts. So you'll see that the public sector current receipts, 795 billion. And you will see there that largely they're coming from places like income tax and national mm -hmm. insurance. So I'm sorry to interrupt you, but Wonderful. I think that it's just relevant to see how they're currently making their money, so to speak. Yeah, but that, this is the thing. I mean, I, I don't think it's a good idea to, to put up national insurance because that hits working people at a time when energy prices are going up, when inflation is going up, when uh, wages are stagnating. I think there are much more creative ways to, to, to raise the money. So, I mean, reform of the council tax system, for example, taxes on property. I mean, the idea of just going on income tax. Um, the wealthiest people in the country not today don't make their... It isn't through income that they're making their money. It's generated through assets. So we need to start looking at the tax system through that lens. So you want to tax wealth, uh, capital growth, rather than income? I think that would be a, a good <coughs> starting point. I mean, Rachel Reeves mentioned taxing Amazon, for example, to, to, yeah, and companies and like that. that's what I was going to mention. Because that would help the high street as yeah, well. Exactly.